All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining me. So we are going to be looking at Psalm 28 today, guys. I hope y'all are having a blessed and wonderful day, man. God is amazing. He's moving, guys. He's always moving. He's always doing things. Never lose sight of that. Always be happy to be in the plan, part of the plan. And let's do something, man. Let's share some of God's word with one another. So let's pray. And then we're going to look at Psalm 28, guys. Lord Jesus, I just want to come before you today, Lord, thankful, grateful, signed, sealed, delivered, redeemed. A new creation, God. Thank you for making me a new creation. I ask that this video be able to be purposeful and to convey your word and your thoughts and your love and your plans for each and every one of us, Lord. Help us to help us to seek out your will and, and to be strengthened to help to carry it out and to bring it to bear in this lost and fallen world, Lord. Help us to be dutiful loyal Christians who lift you up that you may draw people to you, God, that we could be a part of that, a cog in that great plan, Lord, in that great commission, that we can seek you out, that we can obtain you, and that we can share you with others, God. And I pray this in your holy and heavenly name, in Jesus' name, amen, guys. So let's look at Psalm 28, guys, and then we're going to do a little bit of a verse breakdown. It's a short one again today, but man, David knows how to do a lot with a little, don't he? <clears throat> psalm 28, rejoicing and answered prayer, a psalm of David, verse 1. To you I will cry, O Lord, my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Sorry, guys, my guinea pig's being noisy, isn't he? <laughs> Verse 3. Do not take me away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity who speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them according to the work of their hands. Render to them what they deserve. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices and with my song, I will praise him. I'm reading that again, guys. Verse seven. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices and with my song, I will praise him. The Lord is their strength and he is the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. Amen, guys. All right, so... Let's look at what I have to share with you guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for letting me share with you. God's amazing, guys. Thank you, like I said, for joining me for the 28th chapter of the book of Psalms, another from King David and that inspirational breath of God. What a team they make, right? David was a shepherd and a warrior, and in both, persistence is necessary. And as a psalmist, David never lost sight of this. Looking back at chapters 26 and 27, and now 28 makes the third in a row that looks at and gives voice 
to the prayers of those who are falsely accused. Like yesterday, David's work today is split into two strophes. Yesterday was five strophes, today is two. Verses 1 through 5, the first strophe, look at prayer, while verses 6 through 9, the second and concluding strophe, celebrates the answer to said prayer. 28.1, guys. <clears throat> to you I will cry, O Lord, my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. My rock, let's look at that first, my rock, a familiar and on-point descriptor of our Heavenly Father as God is the only true and supreme protector and the eternal spring of strength to His elect. Let's look at the final part of verse 1. Lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. In that phrase, go down to the pit, the grave or sheol are in sight. Basically, a life lived without God is a life both unlived and truly only temporal. 28.3, guys. <clears throat> Do not take me away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. This is a problem from time immemorial that is being looked at here. In time, all will be brought out into the light. What's done in the dark will be made known. But until then, we, like our psalmist, must know that hypocrisy is like air to those who practice lifestyles of sin and wickedness. 28.5, guys. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. So I like that. It's twofold. Not only will they not be built up, but they will be destroyed. They will be dealt with. Such things will not be permitted forever. Again, I'm reminded of how David was a man after God's own heart. Verse 4 spoke an appeal seeking judgment, while here in verse 5, that same judgment is now declared. It's pronounced. And not out of self-fulfilling vengeance, but rather out of a thoroughly righteous regard exhibited by David for God Almighty. 28.6, guys. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of of my supplications. So, verse 2's cries are answered. Now, God is praised by the psalmist for his being blessed. And he undertakes anticipatory worship in lieu of God's blessings for David's people. 28.9, guys, last one I'm going to share with you today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. David was a good, godly king. Yes, he was a man and he had shortcomings, but he was a good and godly king who had the care of his people in mind quite often. Here in closing, his appeal broadens even more now to include the nation in its entirety. Amen, guys. All right, if you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. I drop a new video like this six days a week, guys, and God wants us to get into this, so let's do it together. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you loved it. If you do, my heart goes out to you, man. I want nothing more than to take what I have been blessed with and to share it with everyone out there. I want to see us all make it to the finish line and be going to the same place, guys. Um, if you have any prayer requests, any comments, drop those down here into the comment section, man. I love you guys so much. Father God loves you so much more. Now go out there and have a blessed day.